the water came on last night that it's now busy getting softer and softer so the worst thing with water when you run out of water is the toilet <laughs> and so at least I've got the swimming pool so I can take a bucket empty the pool water for the toilet and I was cleaning it now I don't know what the problem is with you know you go to other places and you pee as a man and they tell you there's a sign there use the toilet properly but I tell you it's not as easy as one thinks if you're not a man you do not know how big it's gonna be how long it's gonna be at night generally I just rather just aim into the shower and at least it gets caught up but and the toilets they make these days are so small the aiming is not so good especially at night and sometimes when it's being closed it's not a, a pipe it's just not like a straw it's a flat thing sometimes it just goes one hole there <laughs> so please you know forgive the man that makes a mess around the toilet basin toilet seat or just ask him to clean it up afterwards it happens if you sit then sometimes it will hang in the water <laughs> my matrix welcome to my matrix it's funny because People are angry with me because I didn't do anything. Voila, famous. Maybe it's still yet to come. To make people happy. But if I knew what looks I had when I was younger, maybe I would have done it. Do you remember the movie with uh, what was it called? The Devil's Advocate. Yeah, we all we all fall for for vanity. We love to be worshipped and praised. Maybe it's an Anunnaki trait. Trait. And you know, this being twenty twenty one now, I need to work at because. My son will be coming back from Ireland. I have a black son. His dad was speaking to me and I mean, he's like 13 years old now and I had to explain that they asked, they asked their dad, is Uncle Lionel gay? And so I said, well, don't think of me as gay, as in that word gay, if it makes you upset. Just think of me as a mermaid. Every now and again, I need to go into the bathroom <laughs> and splash myself some water. <laughs> I turn into a mermaid now and again. It's a big thing, you know, the rainbow colors and the mermaids and the mermans. It's, that's how, they educating the children these days. In the old days it was unicorns. Did unicorns exist? I think they did. I really think unicorns did exist. But they don't exist now. In this matrix. My son's name is Neo. <laughs> she had to call him Neo. <laughs> <laughs> I was so angry. But the unfortunate part is about the Matrix. Knowing the Matrix. The lady who invented the movie, the book, she wrote the, the what do you call it, the, the story, the three books, the trilogy. 
they brushed her aside, they pushed her away. She actually had a cameo role in the Matrix movie. Um, as the Oracle, she created Neo. And she's not, she's not used today. Why is this music still playing? She's not used today. She's just like used like a piece of paper, crumpled up and thrown away. And that's what the Matrix does to you. If you don't want to step in the Luciferian way, if you want to call it. And that's the Matrix of life that we're all in. You have to devour children or give some your child up, sacrifice something. This is the Anunnaki way. Maybe that's why Jesus came to say, well, stop the sacrifice. And even if it wasn't true, the concept of the end of sacrifice happened at the death of Jesus in Jerusalem. That's what the Jews want to do. That's why they thought Trump was so brilliant putting the embassy, the Anunnaki embassy in Jerusalem because they want to slaughter a goat or yeah, a goat. Funny enough, in 2018, the Africans wanted to slaughter a sheep on our most expensive beach, Clifton Fall. You know, it's where, I mean, these houses are billion dollar homes. They've got lifts in them going up the side of the, of the cliff. And they wanted to slaughter the sheep there. Luckily, now, we have COVID, so no slaughtering of sheep. I mean, I've got no issue with it. They, it's an African tradition to slaughter something because you don't really eat meat that much, but you give thanks to your ancestors in the African tradition. And it's the same as a Jewish, ancient Jewish way. There is no problem with it if it is done once a year or but it's not like you're having an abattoir in your backyard. You are slaughtering out of respect and it's done by a traditional person and um, every culture has it. The Cubans do it. I had bosses who built, I worked for this shipyard and they went to Cuba when South Africa, you know, it was after 1994, and these two, the husband and wife, they went to Cuba and they stayed in five star hotel, five star for Cuba in Havana. And right then they heard this commotion outside, and there was this little girl and a big hog, a big black pig, and the whole village. And they gathered around the pig and they gave the knife to the little girl, you know, the virgin, and she slaughtered the pig. These are ancient things, but what's scary is what's happening today in Hollywood and the fix that we get the, from the flicks, you know, on the net. These people are doing child sacrifice. Or, or they impregnate women and use their fetuses as, as the sacrifice. Um, and it's not so much as the eating, but the, the motion of smearing your body with blood. It comes down to another matrix. Matrix that we can't see. 
And that's why when life suffers and you, like, like maybe you be watching this and you just plod along in life. You should be grateful for that, of the plodding along. We can't want all these riches, because it, the saying goes, if, if you want everything, you can't do everything you want to do. It just goes like that. We humans on this in this reality, in this matrix, the most important thing for us to do is be of service to each other. And that's how I've conquered my matrix. Because even That bad person could be the good person in the future. And the good person could be the bad person in the future. They, the saying goes in politics, two weeks, anything can happen. And po politics makes strange bedfellows. And the same goes for life. You might think nothing is changing, but everything is changing all the time. And when you're down, you have to boost up that. And that's why I say the divine love, the divine healing. You can actually use divine rush I keep that back I'm not saying divine rush so much I don't need to rush now I don't need to rush I just need to feet on the ground moving forward in the matrix to top the matrix off the mother of the child of Neo Yeah. You know, we were watching this movie called Fifty Shades of Grey, <laughs> set in Seattle. Well, I have a wonderful lady. She made a prayer for me and planted a rose in Seattle for me. I'm truly honored, honored that somebody so far away on the globe can just send good vibes. And that's what we are here to do, send good vibes. When you switch on the radio, when you hear about somebody complaining, the water is not working, this is not working, this pushes your vibes down push your vibes up with divine love divine healing thank you for watching please like ciao for now